so let me be clear. This video is not about what you expect to happen when you age. You know what I'm talking about. The usual suspects, not being able to stay up all night and party, getting gray hair, your balls dropping down to your knees. No, what I'm talking about are the things that come out of left field. You're walking along, minding your own business. You turn 26, boom, this change hits you like a freight train. In today's video, I'm listing out 10 shocking things that happen to you as you age. First up on this list, you start referring to guys still in college as kids. And the funny thing is, you just graduated from college two years ago. In fact, your current girlfriend is still in college. Another strange thing that happens to you as you age, you hit these milestone birthdays, 30, 40, 50, 60, and you realize I don't really feel any different. Now, of course, when you're 50, your body doesn't feel like it did when you were 20, but your mind, it's still there. You still feel like the same person. In fact, some days you feel like that 18, 20 year old in your mind, you want to go after your dreams, but people are starting to look at you different. And that takes me to the next point. People's expectations of you change as you age. So when you turn 21, the day after your birthday, when you showed up to work a little bit still tipsy, a little bit smelling like alcohol, everyone thought it was funny. Well, when you're 31 and you show up to work a little bit tipsy because it was your birthday last night, people seem to not find it as funny. Now let's talk about some surprising physical changes that happen as you age. So first up, let's talk about the redistribution of your hair. For a lot of you guys in your 20s and 30s, you're going to stop growing your hair up here and instead it's going to grow out your ears, out your nose, on your chest and on your back. I have one friend who we affectionately call the werewolf. He randomly started to grow patches of hair on his arms in his 20s. Now, the fact that a lot of guys in their 20s, 30s, and 40s are going to lose hair on their head may not be shocking to you, but what is going to probably be shocking to you is how quickly the hair falls out. Literally, you're going to be in the shower one day washing your hair and you're going to look at your hands and you're going to freak out because you're going to have all this hair on your hands. Seriously, go out there and talk to a few guys about hair loss. Many of them will tell you it happened within a period of a few months. Now, gents, if you've got visible signs of hair loss, you need to check out Keeps. I've talked about this company before. They're the sponsor of today's video and they've got treatments which are 90% effective at reducing and stopping further hair loss. In fact, some men do experience hair regrowth and at best, men can expect to get back up to 20% of the hair they lost. Here's how it works, gents. You want to go to keeps.com slash RMRS. Then you're going to sign up online. It's really simple. It takes less than five minutes. Next, you're going to just answer a few quick questions and snap some photos of your hair. A licensed physician is then going to review your information online and recommend the right treatment for you. Everything is on your schedule. You're going to get a doctor's diagnosis and you're going to get prescribed meds shipped to you every three months. No waiting rooms, no pharmacy, no checkout lines. Two out of three men are going to experience some form of male baldness. If you are seeing any signs, if you know that this is coming, you want to check out Keeps. And the best part about all this, guys, they're incredibly affordable. In fact, the first month is free. Use the link down in the description. Again, that's Keeps dot com slash R M R S. Again, that's K E E P S dot com slash R M R S. Another shocking thing that happens as you age, your breath gets worse. Seriously, what happens is you're not producing as much saliva as you start to get older and you start to get a drier mouth. Drier mouths, that leads to bacteria growth. It can lead to really a smelly mouth because things you could get away with when you were a little bit younger, you had more moisture in there. All of a sudden, you can't do that. That leads to gingivitis, which leads to gum disease. And all of a sudden, you're going to the dentist every three months. It's not a good picture, guys. Take care of your teeth. Now, this next thing that happens to you as you age, I think actually is really cool. And that is you stop caring about what other people think of you. Here's the thing. You've already gone through a bit of life. You start to experience things. For some guys, it takes a bit longer till they find themselves. They develop the confidence to realize, you know what? Other people don't care about me. I really, I'm living this life for me. And you stop caring about trying to impress other people. You start to identify what do you want out of life and you go for it and you get it. Now, Hand in hand with that last point I just talked about, you also become weirder as you age. Why? Because you stop caring about what other people think. So if you you have a really funny laugh, you used to kind of repress it, guess what? You are just going to let that out. If you have a habit of maybe just bluntly telling people the truth and it makes an uncomfortable silence afterwards, guess what? You're going to continue, you're going to start to do that more as you age because you realize there are benefits to it. You know, hiding who you are, that's, of course, there are social etiquette, things you probably should pay attention to. But when it comes to a lot of, you know, down to a lot of things, hey, yes, you became a little bit more weird, but you became a lot more fun because of it. And speaking of fun, let's talk about happiness. So what's interesting is when a person is about age six, seven, eight, 
their happiness peaks and then it starts to go down as they enter the teenage years and it continues to go down in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s and then what happens and this happens depends on you know the person but it starts to peak back up. It's literally like a horseshoe. What happens? Again, you stop caring about what other people think about you. You're starting to live your life for yourself. What I would advise though is try to get this to happen sooner. All of us go through that time period in which you know the teenage angst but unfortunately for some of us it lasts a lot longer. I know I've still got my own hangups but if you can start to get rid of those things then all of a sudden you start to enjoy and love your life a lot more. So, another thing that happens to you as you age, your tastes change. Specifically, your taste for certain foods. You're going to find foods that you just loved. As a younger person, you're not really drawn too much anymore. You're drawn to other things. I know for me, when I was a teenager, I had a sweet tooth. Now, I'm really not in the sweets. What I love though are spicy, savory meats. I love a wide variety of spices. I like actually just looking at the texture, having a little bit of crunch. I'm looking for all these things when I'm getting into food. It's actually, and this is the shocking part, it's because your taste buds actually started to dull that you go out there looking for ones that are going to work with your new basically palate. Now, some of you guys already have your core values. You maybe picked them up from your parents, you picked them up with your religion, you picked them up just simply going through life but they will hit you at some point as you age and you start to realize there are things in my life that I am not going to compromise on and you will start things that you would have bent on when you were younger. You are going to stand more firm. You're going to realize, hey, I've got to have a foundation. I've got to have a rock that I build my life off of and there are things I'm just not going to compromise on because I start to realize there are things in life that are more important than money and fame and all that other stuff that we shoot for a lot of times when we're younger. So, we've been talking about aging and obviously in the physical sense we get older but also your mind can age with experience as you go through life, as you graduate college, as you have setbacks at work, especially the setbacks in life, when you lose people you love, when you have a family and you learn to love someone more than you love yourself. Here's the thing that you develop. You develop empathy. You start to better understand other people. You experience the heartache. You experience the pain and this empathy you develop, it helps you become a better listener. It helps you better connect with people because you realize we're all going through this tough journey that's called life. So, this next one, it's great. You can better handle stress as you age. Why? You've been there before. You realize that things that stressed you out when you were 22, 23, when you're 33, all of a sudden you're like, ah, that's nothing to worry about. And when you're 43, 53, you look back when you were 33 stressed out, you realize, ah, that's not that important. That's what I love about aging. You learn to put things into perspective. Another shock and benefit of getting older, you're less likely to get sick. Seriously, look at the stats. It holds true. You've been there. You've caught that. In your early 20s, you're still catching illnesses around tons of people but in your late 20s, in your 30s, you've kind of been around the block. When it comes to all those viruses, you've got a great immune system. Now, on a side note, when you do get older and you do get sick, it is tougher to recover. As you become older, you finally become a morning person. Two things are working in your advantage here. One, you need to sleep less as you age and the shift happens in that you start to go to bed a bit earlier. So, all of a sudden, you're waking up at 4 a.m. Oh, yeah. So, what video to watch next? How about the things that cause hair loss? What you need to watch out for? I talk about hereditary but I talk about a lot of other things as well that you need to watch out for.